peeps, welcome to this week's Friday faux pas. Got a bit of a dangerous one here. I'd actually been running out of uh, content to, to post on these features, but luckily uh, I'd had a few people send me some things. I've got a bit of an influx. This one is some footage from 2021, so about three years ago. Um, it's a concrete skip, probably got about five, five and a half tonne of concrete in it. I won't tell you anymore, let's show you the footage. The crane's lifting it up, taking it up off the ground now, but what goes up must come down. And there she goes. There are souls fall out, the rope comes down with it, sparks are flying, not good. There you go, see, sorry it's a bit grainy, but it's old footage and it's obviously from CCTV. So, how dodgy is that? Very dangerous, the, the slingers are lucky. This is a prime example of why you don't stand underneath loads, yeah? Because machinery can fail, accessories can fail, they can snap, fray, can have fray, uh, that's probably from fraying of the, of the hoist ropes, that's probably what that is, but I don't know, don't know the ins and out of it. That's why we have to check our hoist ropes every morning and on our weekly checks as well, we do a thorough, in, thorough check, thorough visual check of the crane. Um, oh, it's actually got, I've got a thing here on, in my cabin, so it says a warning, for safety reasons, crane ropes have to be discarded if they show any one of the following criteria. Break of one strand. Mm. Accumulation of wire breaks is defined in the discard criteria table number of visible wire breaks, corkscrew type def deformation of more than a third of the rope diameter, basket type formation, bird cage effect, that's where it all, all loosens up and, and bundles up. I won't bore you with the rest of it, but you get the idea. You have to check for these things. That's why all, they have to be checked, that's why accessories have to be checked regularly, and that's why slingers have whistles to notify people that loads are, are in the air, so the people can look up and think, oh, fucking hell, get, let's get out of the way because that can happen and also um, things can fall off the loads. Yeah, so when I land loads in the crane, I aim for the slinger, so rather than them having to give me instructions constantly, I just say to them, look, stand there, just tell me where you want to go, stand there or put your hand up and then I'll just go straight to you. But I don't expect them to stand underneath it, I expect them to stand a little bit clearer and, and I land either just in front of them or where I think it's going. Um, it's just common sense really. That, that could have been catastrophic, they'd have been dead, game over, simple as that. So be careful guys, just bear that in mind. Hope you found this useful. Feel, please send me some of your stuff uh, because it's all educational. This is to make the crane world safer at the end of the day. Send me your stuff so that I can put it out there. Laters.